Hey guys and welcome to today's first impressions video. At the minute we are looking at Space Tow Truck which comes out on the 29th of this month which is July. It's a real physics puzzle game apparently. It teaches you about X and Y axes and you've got to figure out ways of bypassing drones in order to fix your car. Concept's a little bit weird but it kind of works. It makes learning fun and as we all know, I absolutely adore puzzle games because I'm really, really good at them. He says with a very to sarcastic tone. So we're going to look at it. I'm going to see if it's any good. We're going to go into puzzle mode as opposed to story mode. Story mode, I would heavily advise giving a go, though. The writing's pretty good, as a lot of people will understand the joys of trying to deal with an automated tech service. But that's all I'm going to kind of say on the matter. It's got some other cool features as well. Nothing in the way of graphic settings though. Like legit. There's, there's nothing. It's just a high. So there's nothing really to show there. So we're going to jump straight into the game. And show you what it's all about. Alright. Here we are. This is the puzzle map if you will. As you can see you've got seven stages all the way up from one. And it shows you the scale here of whether they're easy or hard levels to master. Now, what's kind of cool is that it gives you a lot of information on where we are. We're in one of the craters of the moon, right? And it's got an actual picture of the, the moon where we are right now. And if you click on certain things with a little speech bubble, it will actually tell you about information of that thing, which is kind of cool. And they're in nice bite size, you know, chunks of information that you can quite quickly scan over and read and you can click on this or any of the others when you get to it right so it will come up with name of each crate and you can read about it and how it was discovered and i think that's really cool and i'm very interested to see how it goes on as you can see there are 570 of these car batteries that you've got to get in order to fix your car and the missions get progressively harder so we're going to go into one one just to show you how it works it's an interesting concept and the puzzles get quite hard so yeah like the only thing is that i don't quite get is that this is in puzzle mode and not story mode and yet you've still got to go through each of the story bits which is a bit weird honestly so the idea of the game is that you've got to teleport to the zone where you're going to teleport to here you've got your x-axis and your y-axis and you basically have to select what you want it to be so we're at five i want to go to ten so you hit ten and five right y-axis up there x-axis down here click ok and you will teleport and win the battery and that is literally all you need to do sounds simple until you start getting to the hard levels right and then it apparently just yeah so in puzzle mode it doesn't move you on automatically you have to literally like exit out which is a bit annoying like let, as soon as you've done it it should be automatic whether you're on puzzle mode or story node that's something that they could probably work on to make it just boot you out to the screen once you've done it. And then, like I say, you move through each of the uh, levels to try and get the things right. So, you've got two positions, right? So, you've got one here and one here. So, I want to go to 25 and 10 for one of them. And 10. And then for this one, we want to go to 20 and 5. So, 5 on the y axis, 20 on the uh, x. No, 20 on the y axis, and 5 on the x. Let's get that right, shall we? <laughs> Let's make sure we get that one right. Jesus. That would be embarrassing on the second. So, there you go. This this is basically what you do. It's a it's a puzzle game 
with lots for you to to kind of figure out what it is you've got to do with the progress you know the puzzles get progressively harder as you go through adding new mechanics in and giving you more to read about and learn about the moon and its surface i can see this being very good especially if you want to give your kids something to do over the summer holidays again don't have this if you're gonna have it as a puzzle mode we don't need this just give me the puzzle if i wanted to do this i'd go into story mode as good as the writing is and as funny as the writing is and and as much as i like it you don't need this on a puzzle mode right there's no point in having that on a puzzle mode because it's puzzle mode so as you can see you've got drones that come here so what you gotta do is you gotta figure out how you're gonna do it and the way you're gonna do it is we're gonna go for this one first no seconds and then this one at three right so we are gonna actually take that down to one second and we're gonna go for this one first so we want 10 on the y axis and zero on the x so zero on the x and 10 and then this one we want minus 25 and five okay. all right dead easy and that way it should teleport just before the drone gets there giving us both batteries and on we move like so dead easy dead easy he says i like it i think it needs a bit of work and a bit of polish before it comes out like not having to exit out manually for a stage i've not done yet on this game giving us multiple saves would be really nice as well so we can go in for puzzle mode if we wanted to and then do another story mode so we could just go in and do the puzzles as we see fit and giving us um just a bit more of everything giving us some actual graphic settings i know there's not a lot to this game but giving us some actual graphic settings would be really nice but there you are this has been space tow truck it comes out on the 29th of july wishlist it on steam if you like what you see and let me know in the comments down below is this something that you would be quite happy to let your your kids play teaching them stuff you might even learn something yourself i know i don't know about the 32 craters of the moon that have all been named by scientists etc so yeah i really like it i think it's got a lot of potential guys check it out thank you very much for watching don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already and i shall see you all next time ciao, ciao.